Um, she has actually done very, very well. Um, most of that is due to the fact that she's gotten the proper treatment from a panda specialist. And she has been able to not only bring grades back up from failing to A's and B's, but she's a happy kid again. She's able to enjoy going out and doing things socially, maintaining friendships, healthy. For the most part, we have very few problems. It's uh, basically just keeping her immune system strong, using some vitamins and supplements and meds, but it's a huge improvement, a vast improvement. Her behavioral issues have not quite disappeared, but very, very few, um, as well as her physical issues, you know, all those other symptoms, the stomach aches and the headaches and the soreness in the joints, all the things that she had before, those things have pretty much gone away. And like I said, as long as we keep her immune system strong, she does very well overall. So it's nice that my eight-year-old can be an eight-year-old and a happy, healthy eight-year-old instead of a kid that can't hardly go to school, has to be in and out of hospitals, all that good stuff. I hope her continued, um, you know, progress is, I hope it continues, put it that way, um, and continues to get better. Um, she has really, really come a, a very long way, but um, if we could minimize a few of the minor side effects, that would be great. I'm most thankful though that she's been able to enjoy things that she used to enjoy. Uh, all the things that she didn't get to have the opportunity to do when she was so ill, she's now doing. Hobbies, playing with other kids, running. Um, so I'm, I'm really just hoping that that continues to get even better. And um, I think the, the biggest thing that I want out of all this now that my child is much healthier is just to continue working on awareness for other people whose children are going through the same thing. The good news is this type of disease is most difficult to deal with as a younger child. And usually around the time a child is into their teen years, it gets much more manageable. So that's encouraging. Um, even if she weren't doing as well as she is now, we know that there's kind of like a, a light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully she's been treated early enough that there won't be any lifelong effects for her as far as any change in brain chemistry or anything that will just be residual.